and honestly take the next step forward, uh, you can't become that championship defense. And so um, it's going to be about learning from this film um, and, you know, taking the steps necessary to be better versus Navy. You kind of realize as this game was going on that you guys had no room to break? <coughs> I mean, you know, when the score is tight, you know, as a defense, you just have to get off the field to give your offense an opportunity. We knew they wanted to bleed out the clock, and that's what they tried to do. So we knew three and outs, four and outs were crucial, and that's, you know, obviously what we did down the stretch. Drew, officially, Julian Farr officially had seven quarterback hurries. It seemed like he had a dozen. What does he mean to this team and keeping them, getting them off the field? MVP. Um, you know, he's a guy that's been doing that all year for us, pushing sacks to other guys, um, selfless player, you know, maybe our most talented pass rusher. Um, and it, it's got to be frustrating when it doesn't show up in the stat sheet. You know, I know I'm frustrated when, you know, it doesn't show 10 or 12 tackles on the stat sheet. But then, you know, that's what a championship defense is. It's one guy every week, you know, maybe making all the plays. Um, and, you know, we have that. It's a different guy every week. It was Khalid the first week. It's been, you know, Tavon versus Stanford. It's Julian Love last year or last week versus Virginia Tech. Um, and so just his selfless, you know, character and continue to pursue the quarterback. He's, he's a special player. Drew, Drew, how do you think the adversity is helping this team down the road having to come from behind the last couple games? I mean, I don't know a, a team that's won – the national championship that hasn't had to come from behind at some point in the season or playing a close game. And so, uh, you know, that happened to be today for us. Thanks, Drew. Thank, yeah, thank you.